Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Steve and I am here to walk you through how groupings work in Gigasheet. We think groupings are tremendously powerful. And as you start to analyze whatever data set that you have uploaded, uh, we think that many of the questions that you're asking can probably be answered by groupings. So in this instance, we're gonna be working with some vehicle sales data. Um, there are nearly 4.7 million rows in this data set. Each row represents a sale that happened on Craigslist. So you can see that we've got the Craigslist region, the manufacturer, the model, the car's year, and so on. Um, if you scroll to the right, you can see that there's a bunch of other columns here. But the first thing you probably want to do is analyze this data by attribute. And as I said, that's done with groups. So we can start with region. How many regions are there and which region has the most sales? That's actually a fairly easy question to answer. If we click on region here and then click on group. And as that loads, you see that we have data from 404 separate regions. Columbus has the most at 39,688. Jacksonville is second at 39,182, Spokane is third, Eugene's fourth, Orlando, and so on. And of course, clicking on any one of these arrows is gonna pull in, you're gonna be able to get to all of the underlying data. To further understand this, you can have groups inside of groups. So to have groups inside of groups, you know, maybe we wanna ask which car gets sold the most per location. So. That's an easy question again. We're gonna click on manufacturer. Manufacturer is essentially the make of the car. We can group by manufacturer and you can see these little bright columns that we first group by region and then by, by manufacturer. So now um, if we cl click on Columbus, we can see that within those 39,688 sales in Columbus, 6,292 were Fords, 4,972 were Chevys, 2783 or Toyotas, and so on. We can collapse Columbus and go down to, say, Eugene or, or to Orlando. And we can see the values of Orlando, 5,610 from Ford, 3,905 from Toyota, and so on. Easy enough to, again, continue to group here. And maybe now underneath the Toyotas, we want to know which year. Again, it's as simple as clicking group. And we can see now that Toyotas in Orlando, the most were the 451 from 2018, then the 341 from 2019, and so on. We can continue to scroll down and get down to Nashville and see what the results are in Nashville, just as simply. You see Nissan's in Nashville, you see the 297 from 2017. Now say instead of answering what makes are sold by region, we want to know what regions are sold by make. You know, and that's as easy as dragging the break parts. So instead of regions and manufacturer then year, we can just say we want to group first by manufacturer, then by region, then by year. So now we've gone down to 43 specific groupings representing the 43 values in the manufacturer column within this data set. And we see Ford selling the most at 78, at 780,000. 835, then Chevy at 605,000, then the 376,000 Toyotas, and so on. Of course, clicking into any one of these, we could see specifically, um, as we've said, the region um, by manufacturer. The 2019 Hawaii Toyotas. And finally, we can learn a little bit more about this data via aggregation. So we can come to the bottom here and say for odometer, let's choose the median odometer. And for price, let's choose the average. I'll let that load. And as it loads, we see on a really group by subgroup basis, the median odometer and average sale price for each of these groups. So we can go to say, Oh, I don't know. Let's go to the Nissans in Jacksonville. And we can see that the average Nissan in Jacksonville year 2017 
had 64,683 miles on its odometer, and the average price was um, about $13,000. So hopefully you start to understand the power of grouping your data in Gigasheet. You know, this ability to slice and dice rows and columns on a massive data set, and again, we're talking four points, nearly 4.7 million rows. The ability to slice and dice this size of a data we think is pretty cool. And we hope that the familiarity of spreadsheet-like functions and workflows allows you to get to your answers quickly, no matter the size of your data. Gigasheet can handle files up to 1 billion rows. Sign up at gigasheet.co. Thank you.